Welcome back, everybody. We've got episode three of Quarterback, Netflix series. Really, really enjoying it. Yeah, this is Kings of Pain. So ahead of the game with a defensive powerhouse, Mahomes reveals his strategy for not getting hit too hard. Haven't seen, yeah, haven't seen too much of Mahomes getting hit. No, we haven't actually. And the Vikings face a tall order against the Bills. To be fair, we've only seen Mahomes highlights and there's not going to be highlights of him getting hit, is it? <laughs> That'd be some savage highlight, know, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah now loving this series so far. It's been really, really interesting. Let's get straight into Love it. it. Most of my body work centers around trying to get rid of inflammation. Monday morning, I usually get into the cold tub to ice my lower body. <sighs> That's a bruise. The key for me is not just being able to survive a game or the hits. The challenge is, can you come back six yeah, days from ready. now? I know what I signed up for, but the best way to describe it is getting in a car accident every weekend. Just imagine getting hit like that every time. I'm a big compliment guy. Good rush, on, on. First off, I mean, I have a ton of respect for those guys. They're playing their tail off. They're trying to get me at all costs. I've always said that I want to make sure those guys like me. Good rush, big dog. Appreciate you, dog. It's <laughs> good tactic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was nasty. <laughs> Tell me about this bruise. That's from the first game. I had a bruise quad where a helmet hit me directly in the quad. It's an every week thing, and there's a, there's a level of intestinal fortitude it takes to say, sign me up for that. I'll do that again and again and again. Their ability is a huge asset. At the end of the day, you just got to be able to buckle your chin strap up, get ready to go, and do what you can. All right. Yeah, just my finger. I'm good. People really started recognizing that with Tom Brady and how much he takes care of his body. Do you know what I just realized? It's probably been abundantly obvious this whole time as well. Like, I think it's finally clicked with me now why you see so many players get in and out of American football in just a span of a few years. Mm. Because unlike soccer, in American football, you cannot hide. No, no. You see it where soccer players lose interest, they go missing in games. Not actually missing, like, that would be incredible. <laughs> they don't really get involved, they don't really put in any effort. You can't do that in this, because no. if you do, you're going to get absolutely clattered. Yeah, you because are. Because you're not going to, you've got to be at the same mindset of everyone else. 100%. You have to be comfortable in those uncomfortable positions or you're gonna be hurt. And those things give you a little more of a resistance to injury. What we like to do is have an A day, a B day, and a C day in season. An A day is focused on rejuvenation, renewing of the tissue. B day is focused on movement literacy and power development. And then C day is Go. full speed. Speed, your fastest is right here. All the way, all the way, all the way. Go on then, A, B, C days. How are you ranking them? Which one would you wanna do the most? Which one would you wanna do the least? I'm B A C. C looks awful. That's exactly what I'm not about. Yeah, I like horrible. to have a like a five. Back when I used to smoke, you know, I sort of do a squat, one rep, have a cigarette. I didn't really, <laughs> but huge break. Yeah, B A C is probably the right. Quite like B. B seems to be me. It's look more like the sessions I'm used to. Yeah. A not really in to that, but still. Well, big for that, C. Yeah. yeah. Let, let us know your preferences. How how you got them ranked? This is my last year with the hair. I almost did it this year, but head and shoulders with the man. Imagine me 40 years old with this haircut, man. Let me come on. <laughs> Today, the Chiefs meet the San Francisco 49ers. Hey, I need more energy. I need more energy from everybody. When you go up against a great defense like the Niners have, they're obviously aggressive. That's what makes them so great. Nick Bosa comes around and gets it. And seven. Mahomes with time. Fires. Oh, it's intercepted. Last year, a lot of teams started playing higher safeties, real, way deeper. That first drive, I went to throw a throw that I knew was going to be open because the safeties were going to be deep, and the safety drove it immediately. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to throw it deep. I'm like, I'm going to throw it deep. He's launching it. He's got Marquez Valdez scanning. Ooh, that's it. Oh, hey. Wow, wow. Yeah. I wasn't even mad. I threw a pick. I felt so disrespected that the safeties were jumping down like that, bro. My name's Taylor. I'm Marcus. It's personal chef. Uh, I make his meals for him. That is what I need. Yeah. I need a personal chef. Channel definitely won't pay for a personal <laughs> chef. Channel don't pay for much. But I, I would yeah. eat so well, mate, if I had a personal yeah, chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the problem. It's time, isn't it? I'm a big McDonald's guy. Big. Yes. That's like my cheat day. And since I was a kid, I love McDonald's breakfast. I've been friends with Marcus since the fifth grade. I was the running back and he was the quarterback. Marcus gives me a call and it's like, do you want to come make my meals for me, you know? And so I packed myself from Portland. He's really kind of helped me develop a nutrition plan and gotten me to a point where my body feels great. 
I wonder if that's all he does for a job, just makes those his moves. I can imagine that's probably all he needs to do. Um, wow. Being two and two instead of one and three is night and day. Fires across the middle and that's intercepted. Yeah, he did really well there. Drive that bus, baby. Drive that bus. No, they were two and two. There's a different feel to this, isn't there, when we're following the Falcons as opposed to the Chiefs. Now, I know Chiefs, obviously, were they're the better team anyway, but yeah. there's just a different feel. There's a different energy. When we're doing when we're following the Chiefs bits, yeah. there's so much energy. It'll be at the 9, 3.10 to go. Oh, wow. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, nice. Very nice. He's... He's... And here comes Koo to kick a field Three. goal. There Snap is. Spot. And it is good. good. And go to two and two. It's the six and two Bills. Yeah. They're hosting the seven go on, and Vikings. one Vikings. Mm. That if this was the Super Bowl, Vikings, Bills, I think fan bases of the other 30 franchises would be like, you know what? Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> Those fans deserve like it. Cleveland and Chicago met in the World Series. Yes. They were the two with the yeah. longest run. I don't think these two have the <laughs> longest run, but it's been, been yeah. I don't know much about the Bills side, but I know for the Vikings, it's it's been a long time. Yeah. When you paint in right here in your midsection, it's just kind of hard to... Um, you know, hard to, th to think about much else. Wednesday, I get into the building. I go into the training room. I know that I'm going to get on that table and they're going to make me feel better. Strikes the ones that leave a mark. Cousins, the most hidden quarterback in the NFL this season. Sometimes movement's the best thing for it. I'm, um, I'm going to be great. It will come down to how much I get hit. Friday evening, I just sit in my basement at the house and have some people come over to help kind of get me geared up and fine-tuned for Sunday. Read in. Good boy. Oh. I had a teammate in Washington named Santana Moss who played 14 years, and he would tell me how in year 14 he felt just as good as he did in year one. It gave me a vision for what it could look like as I got older. It's crazy what they have to go through, isn't it, just to make it through to too, the next yeah. game. You don't see this in the compilations and the top is 50s. The no. If this is tight and locked up, the injury is going to go to a joint. How does that feel? Just feels really open. The He's 6 ready. and 2 Buffalo Bills, first place in the AFC East. Worst time I ever had to have a knot. I got some, I got a knot in my bicep and I had to osteopath and oh my God, the bicep, I'm nearly in tears. Yeah. I've never, I've had I've had them taken out of my shoulder, back, thighs, even calf, which was nasty, but the bicep, oh, I, I was nearly crying. Yeah, it seems painful. Oh <laughs> oh, sorry, this the stands, totally packed. It was really exciting. I knew it was gonna be a tall task. Cousins has thrown a touchdown pass in 38 consecutive games. It's a great start. Oh, that's a big hit there. Right, I got the win, I got me again. Why do you think he gets hit more out of anyone else? Do you think the line's not protecting him enough, or do you think he takes too long to make his decisions? Oh, it's probably going to be what, one what could or it be? I just want to two of them in, a, in two weeks. Focus on my job and block out everything else. No, 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 no. Oh, look at this. You know, there's a little bit of just screw it. <laughs> Next thing you know, the, the the lead you know was shrinking. We're gonna go win this game. Yeah. Okay? Just yeah. trust me, okay? I got you. I got just you. Trust me. Okay. Fourth and 18 for the Vikings from their Oof. own 27. From the line of oh. Kirk back to pass. He's gonna heat one to JJ to the right. Jefferson right. leaps to catch it. And I saw Eric on the sideline nice. reacting like that. I thought. <laughs> Here we go. Fourth and goal from inside the one, trailing Fourth by and eight. Move quick two on the quarterback sneak. Under center. Kirk sneaks. Push by DJ Hayes. Yeah. And yeah. No. No, no signal. I was there. He's going to be down. And that football's right there. I think it's short. In that situation, right, you can right. go over the top. Yeah, right? I know, I know, I know. So I'm kind of having to process, you know, pretty critical error there. There was a chance that that play could have really defined our whole season. Oh no, we came all the way here and we're gonna have to walk out of here with this loss. So Josh Allen needs to get this okay. thing out somehow. He didn't get out. Oh, the ball came out. No. It is a touchdown. Wow. On their last breath. These teams continue to take turns to That's find crazy. logic here down the stretch. 29 yards, it's Tyler Bats. And he hooks it through. I 
think we've watched this game. I kind of feel like, yes. I, I, I recognise that play. Do you know what? It didn't even click until like, Bill Vikings I remember, just got we, that touch now. We were still quite new when we watched that. Oh, I it's think a we long were really time ago, confused. Yeah. But now I get it. Obviously, they, they got it at the half yard yeah, line. Yeah. And yeah. they've still got to play it out. Um, yeah. And they fumbled it. Yeah. And Minnesota touched down. Yeah, I think at the time, we completely missed what happened. Yeah, we, were, we had no clue. We thought it was like some huge... I mean, it was an error, but we thought it was... And didn't yeah. realise they had to play it out that but way. But so. we didn't see the context leading up to it. The reason why they were yeah, at the half yard yeah. line, because... Um, the Vikings didn't get it over, but this is crazy. And you'd think the Vikings, they thought the game was over at one point, so they would yeah, take overtime, yeah. you'd think. Yeah. This game's been nuts. We knew they were going to kick to us. If the Vikings get a touchdown, then the game is over. This is Jefferson. Kirk Cousins. Yeah. This is phenomenal. He's got Ed Oliver bearing down on him. I don't oh. even know how he got enough. No, right in the pocket. Throws to the right. Well, it Again, we had to settle for a field. Nearly fumbled. And put it in our defense's hands. Pass in the pocket to the end zone. Oh, there it is. It's really not the formula to win most games. I think that more times than not, you're going to get beat. And there's a lot of confidence our team can draw from that. There was 17 down as well. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Love the starter jacket. I firmly believe that if you love something, you're passionate about it, you'll find ways to get through it. I love to compete. I love the game of football. Gotta want it. Gotta want it. It's not all gonna be perfect. Another great episode. It's just, yeah. It's so I mean, I've taken more from these three episodes, giving me more insight than anything else we've seen so far, so. Yeah. Yeah. Because no. instead of watching highlights and stuff like that, we're watching that. All the context behind it, and yeah, it's yeah. just how, uh, yeah, how deep the game. Crazy what they, what their bodies go through, mate. It like, kind of makes sense now why their careers are shorter because, and why they only have one game a week, <laughs> and why they only have one game a week. Yeah, because the bodies have got to recover. It sounds like Kirk there was almost struggling just to make it week to week. Yeah, like, it's like someone who's on a diet that really wants to just get back on the bad yeah. food. He's just ticking off each week. It's Instantly, like, it. once the game's done, you're then in recovery mode. Now once that's done, you know you've got training camp, yeah, all leading up to the game, and then you do it all again every week. I'd imagine they spend all week thinking I can't do this, and then they get to Sunday and they're like, I love this. Yeah, <laughs> then Monday morning I can't do yeah, this. Yeah, I can't do this. And they get through, like, I love this. But yeah, no, really, really good episode. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Brilliant. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Can't wait for episode four already. Thank you for being with us for this one and for your support, and we'll see you on the next one.